Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Bell. My name is Michelle, and here I share strategies, tutorials, tips, ideas, and more with elementary math for parents and teachers. Today is day nine of our 30-day back-to-school math resource challenge. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to design and create a recording sheet for your students to use when you're having them rotate around the room, or if you're doing remote teaching and students are doing distance learning or e-learning, having a recording sheet when you have multiple questions for them to solve and that question is not right in front of them. In a typical classroom setting, teachers might have different task cards or problems posted around the room or at different centers, maybe at students' desks, and students don't have access to all of the problems all at once, so they have a recording sheet just for them where they go around and record their thinking or record their answers. So I'm gonna show you how to create your very own recording sheets for activities just like that. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make your very own recording sheets for your students if you have them working on a game, activity, somewhere where they're looking at task cards or maybe rotating around the room where you don't have multiple copies of the question or task that they're solving, but you want them to show their work or to write down their answers individually. So we're gonna look at three different examples of a recording sheet. So here's one two with shorter lines and then three where you have more space for them to show their work. Let's get started. So we're going to go to file and start a new presentation. And here I'm going to go to design, click on my default settings, default colors. I'm going to go to slide size, page setup, switch my width to eight and a half inches and my height to 11 and then press scale up. I'm going to select the entire page and delete those default text boxes. So now what I want to do is start by inserting a text box to have their name at the top and I'm going to change the font and the size to a font that I like. Regular and let's do a 24 size. I'm just going to put name and then a long line. I'm using my keyboard, so I'm pressing the shift and the dash key. When you hit shift, it turns the dash key into an underscore. So that's gonna be there for their name. I'm gonna duplicate that so I can put my title, get rid of the name or get rid of that line, and then I'm gonna change this. And this can be whatever activity you're working on. You could just put recording sheet so you can make multiple copies. But if you want it to be specific to something, so let's say we have students who are working on adding two digit numbers together, and this is a review, and this is the recording sheet for that review. So to add a little pop, let's make this bold, center it, and then make the size a little bit bigger, and then the recording sheet we can put there in the middle. So that works for me, there's the title. Now, as far as the spaces for them to put their answers, you can add a new text box or you could have copied the one you already have. So let's change our font and then up our size. So this one's gonna be number one and then I'm just gonna put a long line using the same technique that I explained before, the shift button and the dash button together. So there's gonna be their first answer. Let's move that over just a little bit and we can make this a little longer. And then I'm gonna take this text box, right click. Well, actually you can't duplicate it this way, but with your keyboard, I'm gonna press Command D because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, just put Control D. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and then place it under the first question in the amount of space that I want. And then I'm gonna hit duplicate again, 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 for as many questions that I want. So I think that looks good. And then all I need to do is go in and change the numbers. 
that looks good. Let's bring this in a little bit. So there's our first recording sheet that we have. Let's duplicate the page first so we can modify. And then I'm going to group by right. After I selected them all, right click, go to group, and then group again. And then they're set together. So on this next one, we're gonna keep the same heading. But what if you wanted more questions but less of a line for their answer? So I'm gonna get rid of those and then adjust the line here. For the number one, that's a good amount of space. We're gonna bring our text box in, and then we're going to duplicate that text box, and this time I'm going to put it here in the middle, and then duplicate it again. It looks a little higher, so in order to make sure they're aligned, I'm gonna select all three, go to Shape Format, Arrange, um, Align, Align, Middle, so then I'm going to select them again and then duplicate. And then I can duplicate that row or I can take all of them and duplicate. And then I'm going to duplicate one more time. I think I want more space between them all, so I'm gonna go back to the first duplicate, duplication. So I just undo, I hit undo many times to go back. So let's get rid of these and then select this and hit duplicate one more time. Let's do there and then duplicate that set. then duplicate that set. All right, so now we're just going to adjust our numbers. All right, so here's a tip. So once I got to the two digit numbers for problems, it made my text box um, overflow so that the line went down to the next space so i want to extend the text box for each of these so i can do them one at a time or i can select them all and then just extend on one and then it applies to all of the ones selected so there you have our second page recording sheet so then let's do one more option so i'm gonna duplicate i duplicated that page so back here I'm going to highlight everything and then group them together because I'm done with this page. And then on the last one, let's get rid of, let's get rid of all of our text boxes. We're going to insert a shape and I want it to be a curved shape or a curved line. All right, so now I'm gonna go up here to shape format and I'm gonna put no fill and then for the line I want it to be black you can make your line thicker than that if you like and then I just want to add in a text box for the number and we're going to you can leave the font change the font it's up to you I'm gonna put number one center bring it in And then I'm gonna actually put mine inside of the box or the square, <laughs> or you can leave yours outside. Whatever pleases your eye. So I'm gonna put mine in there. And then I'm gonna select both of them together and group. And then I'm gonna duplicate it, bring it over and then change the number. And then I'm gonna select both and then duplicate those and then bring it down. And then just change my numbers. And there's our third example of a recording sheet. You can do a variety of things in a variety of ways with recording sheets based on the needs of the task or activity you're having your students do. So the last thing we need to do is save our PowerPoint. 
and we're going to save that. So then I'm going to go to file and export it as a PDF. Remember the title stays the same, it's just a PDF now, and then export. It's done exporting, I'm gonna pull it up in my folder and look at it as a PDF. And then get ready to print it out for my students. I hope this tutorial helped you with learning how to create your very own recording sheets using PowerPoint. Okay, day nine is over. Now you know how to create recording sheets. You can add that to your math resource toolkit. And remember, if you wanna make your recording sheets digital, check out this video here on taking your PDFs from printable to digital in minutes. If you found this video helpful, please like it by hitting the thumbs up button, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna be notified the next time a video is posted, please hit that notification button. And I will see you in the next video.